Hello guys, welcome back to the S3D Hobby Shop. I'm S3D and this is going to be a review on the Bandai 30 Minutes Missions Port Nova Marine Type Purple. This kit was released in 2020, uh, around March 2020, retails for about 20 US dollars. Of course, if you're getting it in Japan, you can get it for about 17 bucks. So, anyway, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the box again, real quick. Uh, got some options, which I'm going to demonstrate. And uh, yeah, also what else you can do to customize it. Uh, they recommend going with a blue Porta Nova with a, a option armor and the option part set number two. Okay, so that's the box. All right, we have the instruction manual right here. Instruction manual basically tell you uh, what you can do uh, with a customization. So I'm gonna refer to the customization options right there. Form change, basically just this section. Uh, the rest of it are just uh, assembly instructions, but I'm going to look at the uh, form chain options right there. Alright, and then we have the sticker sheet, which I'm not going to use. Also, before we get to that, uh, I'd like to thank my viewer, uh, Steven, for sponsoring this kit. Uh, and also made a generous donation uh, for my cat, Fred. So, thank you very much. Thank you for uh, helping this channel uh, create more real content. <laughs> I know lately it's been a lot of uh, shenanigans. And I'm sorry because, uh, you know, I basically run out of funds uh, due to emergencies. So anyway, um, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. So basically you have all the parts to build the port and over. You don't have the uh, parts to build a weapon. So they... Uh, you know, they, they got a cut corner somewhere, so no gun for the Port Nova, no uh, melee weapon either. So there you go. Yeah, the, uh, you do have this little guy, uh, the little drone thing. So you have that. Uh, I mean, they all come from the same runner. And all we get is the extra part to create the Port Nova. So basically what you want to do is uh, I'm going to show you guys the first form change. This one requires you to remove the legs. So basically, you had to pull this part out, boy, and then the part went flying. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> it's not really that difficult. I'm just I, I apply too much pressure. So there we go. Uh, come on. <laughs> okay, let's see if I nope. Screw that up. All right. So you remove the knee armor. You have these parts. And basically, you just take this tanks, you move it from the uh, uh, the adapter, the backpack adapter thing. Uh, you can go. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here because uh, this part doesn't need to be changed or anything. Uh, you take out these tabs right there, like that. Then uh, you connect these right here, like so. Connect right here like so attach that to the legs oops butterfingers <laughs> I'm doing this in my closet now this is like officially my new review place <laughs> yeah I had to give out a lot of things because of uh, this whole pandemic is you know if you're watching this in 2020 yeah I'm pretty sure you guys know what's going on. Everybody's affected. Everything sucks. Um, yeah. Doing my best to keep this channel alive. I need to put these back on there. I'm just going to put these loosely because I'm going to convert it back to uh, just a regular form very soon. And uh, yeah, you attach these over here. Attach this over here. Like that, and then you plug these into the front. So yeah, this is uh oh, don't forget the visor part, the scuba part. Now I'm not gonna show you guys the articulation because uh, the articulation I've done this many times. I've reviewed many Portanovas on this channel, so yeah, the articulation is all pretty much the same. The alto, the Portanova. There you go. That looks pretty cool. 
Uh, also have this weapon right here, the grappling arm thing, which you can also use as uh, guess some kind of a sword-like weapon, something like that. Uh, I mean, this one is very easy, just plug to the uh, hole right here, and there you go. And this thing opens up to grab something. You know, it's, it's very basic, but it's pretty cool. There you go. Alright, so that's one of the forms. Second form, uh, you actually replace the forearm. So, that's, uh, <laughs> oh, well, it came out very easily this time. So, we're going to plug in the legs, like so. You actually uh, replace the feet right there, like that, with these. So, there you go. So, you got like the uh, new style feet. Okay, but you need to remove the ankle armor on the old feet. Like so. I hope you guys can see this because uh, now I have to do this thing standing up, which is uh, kind of ridiculous. <laughs> You know what, if thing gets worse, I'll probably eventually be doing reviews in the in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. That that would have that would be really ridiculous. <clears throat> but there we go. There we go. Very cool. Alright, let's go ahead and remove these arms because uh, this is the other form that we are going to transform it into. Honestly, I don't like how those, uh, how these forms look. They look kind of ridiculous. So, yeah. I mean, I, I prefer it just looking like that, like the box. <laughs> Alright, it's kind of like a pain in the butt to get this thing off. Also, these are made from polystyrene sheets, so, yeah. Uh, the poly cap is polyethylene, uh, which is a uh, garbage bag material. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't think anybody likes poly caps anyway. Poly caps are crap. Poly cap or poly crap. I mean, I wish this thing is... Wait, does the Leo use poly caps? I think it does. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much the same design. Okay, well, what do we do here? We take this forearm, we pop this in, connect that right here. Yeah, it, it's kind of weird when you use like these things for the forearm parts. Looks a little ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, you pop the... Uh... You know what, maybe I'll just do one. Actually, no, I'll do two because then you get the full effect. <laughs> You can see how ridiculous this thing actually looks. Because it's 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 insane. Oh boy, why what the heck happened here? Why does this thing came apart on me? <clears throat> there we go. Like that. Giant forearms with this thing. I don't know that. <laughs> that just looks silly to me. But anyway, might as well get it over with, right? All right. I honestly don't like the way this looks. I I prefer the other way around, where the uh, I guess the tanks, or I don't know if these are fuels or whatever. But this looks ridiculous. No, no thank you. I will pass on that. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. It's, it's just... Let's just not deal with that. <laughs> Alright, again, pain in the butt. You have to take these parts out. 
I'm not gonna bother panel lining this thing. I'm just gonna send this straight back to Steve uh, after I do my second uh, review on the option parts. Uh, yeah, I, he did actually sponsor the uh, second option parts. And also, if you guys are looking to sponsor this channel, I do not accept sponsorships from uh, manufacturers or companies or retailers. I'm sorry. Just uh, try not to be biased. You know. I mean, I appreciate you guys coming to me about uh, asking me to represent your product, but uh, I'd rather pay for my own stuff. Or, you know, let the viewer send me stuff to review. Um, I, I, don't, I don't want to go through that, uh, you know, getting sponsored by a company kind of thing. Yeah, just it's not my style. And I'm not the only YouTuber that uh, believe in this, you know. Um, I follow uh, Jane Bricks, you know, if you guys are a very popular uh, Lego reviewer or brick-based construction reviewer, he does the same thing. He doesn't accept any sponsorships from corporations and retailers and stuff. Uh, just to be, you know, just to keep keep ourselves honest. <laughs> there we go. So, there is the Portanova Marine type. Looking very cool. Yeah, 22 bucks. I definitely say this one is worth picking up. Of course, uh, these uh, Portanova molds... Uh, probably have been, uh, you know, uh, molded <laughs> so many times already. <laughs> it's probably, it's starting to show its age, or it's uh, maybe mold degradation. Yeah, it's very, very back heavy with the uh, scuba tanks or whatever these are. But it looks cool. Oh, there we go. Gonna have a kind of a difficult time balancing this thing. But there you go. That is pretty much it for this review. I hope you guys find the information helpful. Thanks for watching.